Hello, and welcome to episode 6. Today we're going to focus on the find command. Um, in this example, I've got an NTP server running that keeps its log files in an IFS directory, and over time, that directory could become very large. In a more practical example, though, like WebSphere servers or HTTP servers dumping their log files um, to a, you know, a directory over time could get quite large. Not the actual size, just the quantity of files in them could be just huge. Some tools won't even be able to show you all the files or calculate how many are in there. Um, in this example, though, we're going to have a, a real small set of, of files, and I'm going to show you how to delete them based on the age of the file. Um, two different examples. One will be if your um, directory path has a space in the name of it. Mine doesn't, but I'll show you the example for it. And then one if you're in the directory, no spaces, you just want to remove the files. Um, use either. However you like, here's the examples. So let's go into QShell. And uh, the IFS, I'm sorry, the NTP server dumps the files into this directory. We'll just take a quick look in there. So you can see I've got files going back to the 11th on my other system what I did here was I just changed the system date to be a few days from now um, and copied so I've got some files starting with A, B, and Q we'll use that for an example on how to split the command up if there's just too many files in there for one command to process all of them so we'll do the simple command over on OWL here so the find command is simply find. And you can specify the directory you want to search for if you're not already in it. Minus m time. This will be the number of days. So let's just say anything older than a day. Pipe it to sorgs and the command, which will be rm. It won't delete directories, because an rm command won't do that, and that is perfectly fine with us. So now if I look in there, nothing. Everything's gone. Everything was older than one day, and it deleted it. Let's take a look at the other system now, and a little bit different way of doing this. So if your directory contains spaces in it, you have to run this command here. I'll put that in the notes below so you can just copy and paste it. And now we're just going to go into a for loop. Nothing super special about this. Um, we're going to do the same find command. Put the directory anything older than a day, only this time. I'm going to say anything that starts with a Q over than a day, we're going to do. And for this example, I'll just echo the file name back. There you go, you got three files. And to the actual delete, you just substitute the echo for the RM, which we can go ahead and do now for the Bs. That IFS command. Um, you don't have to run that every time, just every time you go into a new shell, it'll retain that setting. So let's go ahead and remove the bakers. Now if we look in there, they're gone. So it's a real short, simple way of uh, clearing files that are accumulated into a directory based on age. Normally I wouldn't do one, but maybe 10 or 20 or 30 days. Just depends on what the files are. Uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.